This is the Sony Xperia 10 Mark VI, launched one month ago for around 400 euro in Europe. It is Sony's only competitor for the budget mid-range market and as a matter of fact the Series 10 from Sony and the Series A from Google are some of the last compact size phones remaining in this price range. Is this Xperia any good? Let's find out. It is a compact phone that has a plastic body with the front covered in Gorilla Glass Victus and is water and dust resistant while keeping a headphone jack and the micro SD card slot. The phone's body is exactly the same as last year. Exactly the same dimensions and mostly the same characteristics. Just 5 grams heavier at 164 grams. My phone is black but you can also find it in white and blue. The back and the frame are matte and hide fingerprints. I find the design very classy and the phone is very well crafted. Perfect edges, no creaks or hollow filling glass. The form factor is the same 21 by 9. It has a 6.1 inches display, OLED, Full HD, triluminous, 60 Hz again though the competition uses 90 or 120 Hz. It has 449 ppi so it is very sharp and is very bright indoors. Outdoors the brightness is sufficient and peaks at about 1000 nits. You can tweak the vividness and the white balance to your liking. Again, Sony claims that the screen is HDR enabled, but I do not see the HDR option in YouTube. Some reviewers rated this display as worse than last year's Xperia 5 Mark V, but it looks identical to me. I don't see a major color shift either. It looks like a very nice display. In terms of biometrics, the phone has a side-mounted fingerprint scanner but no face unlock. The fingerprint scanner is accurate enough and it behaves miles better than last year. The phone is equipped with a stereo speaker setup adequate for the class. Check it out. I'm a dust him in a lap. Yeah, all you do is sling video games with some crazy dreams of racing cars. Dad, you're the one that told us to always do something we love. You know what racing cars cost? Look around. It's not our world, son. Now let's talk about the real game changer, the processor. The Xperia 10 Mark VI is equipped with a Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 from 2 years ago. It is 5G compatible of course and it is not great but competent enough. So much so that the phone feels like an entirely different beast compared to the Xperia 5 Mark V. I did not see any bugs and stutters in usual applications. Moreover, the camera loads faster, processes the pictures faster and this processor enables 4K 30fps video on the main camera. The benchmarks are not amazing in Antutu or Geekbench, still way better than on its predecessor, but the way the phone handles tasks is completely different and looks like the display is much faster than 60Hz, just like the Pixel 6a that was very smooth at 60Hz. The software is based on stock Android with some Sony flavor on top, such as the Triluminous technology, a few Sony apps, like the famous Sony clock widgets, music, the camera app, the creator's app, music pro and video creator. The control panel is redesigned and the new icons look more in line with Android 12 and more icons can be fitted on a single screen. Sony extends its support to 3 years of Android updates and 4 years of security updates which for a new phone is quite reasonable. This year Sony made strides towards a more point and shoot camera and the manual controls are gone. As you will see in the camera segment, some of the colors are exaggerated, not all the time, and I hope Sony fixes this with an update. For a compact phone, the battery life is amazing. This year's processor is more power hungry compared to last year's one, but you can still expect very solid performance. I would say maybe 10 to 15% less than the Xperia 10 Mark V, yet more than enough for day to day use. You will not have any battery anxieties. It is easily a two-day phone, maybe more. The battery drain overnight is around 2%. You can easily get 8 to 9 hours of screen on time. If you leave this phone unattended for more than a week, it will still have some power in the tank. I'll let you judge the quality of the cameras, but I'll tell you the good and the bad. The good. Very sharp, bright display covered in Gorilla Glass Victus. Excellent battery life. Stock Android, a reliable set of cameras in general with a lot of auto mode infused, very nice and elegant construction, good stereo speakers, powerful vibration motor, good signal and call quality. The processor is not amazing but does its job very well for this price range. The bad, 
no always on display and no way to wake the display for notifications other than the volume buttons. You have to rely on sound and vibrations. No tap, no double tap, no raise to wake. The cameras lost the manual controls except for the shutter speed, the brightness control and the white balance. There is also a set of filters you can choose from. Sony believes that the auto mode can handle everything. This might be a good thing for some people that do not have time to tick the camera settings though. It is a tough call between this phone and the Pixel 7a that you can find for a similar price. The Pixel has better cameras and better processor. On the other hand, the Xperia 10 Mark 6 has way better battery life, like almost double, it is lighter and better crafted, has Gorilla Glass Victus covered screen, headphone jack and micro SD card slot. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. If you have questions, I'll be happy to answer in the comments section. Bye for now.